How dangerous is a volcano that wakes up after 12,000 years? And why? Is its ash already disrupting life in India? And more importantly, are we prepared for what comes next? In this video, we are breaking down the sudden eruption of Ethiopia's Haley Gabi volcano, a volcano so silent that scientists didn't even know it could erupt again. We'll look at how this massive ash cloud raised across the Red Sea entered India in just hours, triggered aviation chaos and whether it can make our already bad air pollution even worse. And yes, we'll open the big question. How can something happening hundreds of kilometers away affect your aviation flights and the air you breathe? Let's get into it. Number one, the backstory. A volcano nobody expected, the dormant beast. Picture this. Early morning on November 23rd, no warning, no rumbling. No sensors are picking up anything. Scientists suddenly see something strange on satellite images over the Danakil Depression in Ethiopia, one of the hottest and most remote regions on Earth. That something strange was a giant ash plum shooting up from Haley Gabi, a shield volcano that hasn't erupted in last 12,000 years. For context, human civilization didn't even have writing the last time this volcano erupted. This place is so inaccessible that there are no seismic sensors, no monitoring stations and the only way to detect activity is space satellites. That's how rare and remote this eruption is. It felt like a bomb had gone off within hours entire villages were covered in ash. Livestock had nothing to gaze on. Tourists heading to the famous Dankil Desert were stranded. Thankfully, no human lives were lost. But the real drama had just begun. Number two, the problem, the ash cloud that refused to stay local. Unlike normal shield volcanoes that ooze lava quietly, this eruption sent a massive umbrella-shaped ash cloud 15 kilometers into the sky. The Toulouse Volcanic Ash Advisory Center immediately tracked the plum drifting east at almost 120 to 130 kilometers per hour pushed by strong upper-level winds. Within hours, it traveled from Ethiopia across the Red Sea into Yemen, into Oman, and then towards India and northern Pakistan. By Monday night around 11 p.m., the plum had entered Delhi skies. Weather trackers even posted skies will look weird and funny for a while. And they were right. Delhi, Rajasthan, Haryana and Gujarat saw hazier than usual skies. But the biggest worry was in the sky. It was air travel. Number three, the volcanic ash disrupts flights and air quality. Why does aviation panic when they hear volcanic ash? Volcanic ash isn't like the dust pollution we see in cities. It contains fine glass particles, tiny rock fragments, sulfur dioxide and minerals that can scratch windscreens, clock sensors and worst of all, melt inside jet engines. In 1982, a British Airways flight flew into ash and all four engines shut down mid-air. That's why even a tiny amount of ash can trigger huge international alerts. The Indian flight chaos. As the plum approached Indian airspace, the DGCA issued strict orders. Avoid all ash-affected zones, change flight levels immediately, report any engine issues or cabin smell. Increase fuel planning for longer routes. And airlines? reacted fast. Indigo's flight 6E1433 from Kanur to Abu Dhabi diverted to Ahmedabad. Akasa Airlines cancelled flights from Jeddah, Kuwait and Abu Dhabi. KLM cancelled its Amsterdam-Delhi flights. Air India cancelled several international services. SpiceJet also alerted passengers travelling from Dubai to check flight status. In simple terms, if Tuesday's winds pushed the ash over Delhi and Jaipur, aviation officials expected severe disruption. Number four, will this ash increase India's air pollution? This is the question everyone is asking, especially with Delhi already choking at AQI 328 very poor, the same morning the plum arrived. So here's the truth. No, the ash cloud will not significantly increase Delhi's pollution. Why? 
because it is traveling 25,000 to 45,000 feet above the surface. It will behave more like thin cloud cover. It won't mix the surface level PM 2.5 or PM 10. It may slightly raise temperature because it traps heat. The main impact is on aviation, not public health. As the IMD Director General said, any significant impact is unlikely as it is at higher levels. So why did the sky look hazier? Because volcanic ash scatters sunlight differently, making the sky appear darker, cloudier, more brownish or grey. But near the ground, you are still breathing Delhi's regular pollution, not volcanic ash. Sad but true. Number 5. Why this adoption matters? The scientific twist. The craziest part of this entire event, Haley Gubby had no confirmed eruptions in the entire Holocene era, the last 11,700 years, meaning scientists did not have eruption data, no warning signals, no monitoring network, no prediction models. This eruption is now considered one of the most significant volcanic events in the Horn of Africa in decades. Geologists are now studying the thermal signatures, the ash composition, the gas emissions, the eruption column shape and how a shield volcano produced such a massive plump. But there's one more twist because the area is extremely hot and remote, ground teams can't reach the site yet. So for now, the entire world is depending on satellite images. A volcano that slept for 12,000 years suddenly erupted. Its ash raced across continents. Flights in India got cancelled. Skies turned hazy and scientists were caught completely off guard. The good news? The ash is too high to worse pollution in your city. The bad news? It's a reminder that our planet can surprise us whenever it wants even with the things we thought were dead. What are your thoughts on this? Tell me in the comments and don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow The Edge.